You know, I'm not sure that Deadpool and Wolverine is as much of a movie as it is a two hour f fest of cameos and gratuitous meta self insertion memes. And yet, what I can say is it is fan servicing slop, and I ate up every f***ing bit of it. Hi y'all, Snarky Day Cosplay here. Last night I caught the 7 p.m. showing of Deadpool and Wolverine with a bunch of my friends, and yes, I was absolutely insane enough to go and cosplay. I have been waiting for this movie for way too long, and I hadn't felt this excited about a Marvel project or almost anything that had been released in theaters in a very long time. I'm gonna skip right to the chase and tell you guys my thoughts on the movie, but before you start panicking, there will not be any spoilers as to cameos, appearances, or any plot points, if you can call them that, in the movie at all. This is a completely safe review, I just want you guys to know what I think. Now, usually I start reviews with a rating, a numerical rating, but the problem is that I typically reserve numerical ratings for movies. And typically, movies are narrative stories that have a beginning, middle, end. There's some kind of conflict, a plot, a resolution. And as much as Deadpool and Wolverine tries to have that, what I think is so much more prevalent in Deadpool and Wolverine is just non-stop mile a minute. Oh my God, who is that? Holy shit, I can't believe they just did. That is the real value of Deadpool and Wolverine. Its plot is barely cohesive and poorly tied together. But yet it as a concept, as a piece of content, is so wonderfully held together by the mile a minute holy sh** moments. It really doesn't feel like you've sat down to watch a movie where you really felt like you came away with something. Watching Deadpool and Wolverine feels like you are on a roller coaster. It is constant, what's around the next corner? Are we going up? Are we going down? It is absolutely insane. It kicks off in a way that is genuinely shocking as a Marvel fan. And the fact that Disney signed off on any of this is absolutely f***ing bonkers. I have spent the better part of two years now on this channel bitching about recent Disney releases, about the message, the agenda, poor scripts, terrible CGI, shitty character choices. I had not been excited enough to go, oh my god, let's go in a big group and let's all play dress up for it in years. And Deadpool and Wolverine made me feel like a 15 year old girl and I genuinely squealed in the theater more times than I care to recount. I can't remember the last thing that made me squeal and that is just as devastating for me to say as it is to hear. So honestly, look, I'm not gonna give Deadpool and Wolverine a rating, okay? Because to me, it really doesn't feel like your standard Marvel movie. It doesn't feel like you sat down to watch a movie where they tried to feed you something. There's no message, there's no plot, there's no agenda. This is very much a love letter and it almost feels like an apology to comic book fans. It almost feels like Ryan Reynolds decided to say he was sorry on behalf of Disney and they put this out to see if they could pull a little baby come back, radio outside the window, see if I would open it up. And let me tell you, if Deadpool and Wolverine, this movie, was throwing pebbles at my window, I'm opening it, jumping out of the window, jumping on that motorcycle, and going for that ride wherever we're going. And look, I'm typically a tough critic of these things, all right? I'm the first one to come on here and say that I can't turn my brain off for content, but to be honest, I didn't have to turn my brain off for Deadpool and Wolverine because there was never really a chance for me to turn my brain on. It is non-stop what the f There are cameos that will blow your f***ing mind. Scenes that are so incredibly questionable for any movie, much less a Disney movie, that are honestly worth the price of admission. This movie genuinely feels like they said, you've been on this journey with us for so long and we have f***ed this up so royally, have this. It felt like genuinely like a bunch of us assholes that do this for a living. It felt like we came together and wrote this crap and we decided to leave plot out of it. That, that's the important part. If you had asked me to write this movie, I probably would have included a little bit more plot, but all the fan service genuinely 
was f***ing crazy. I'm telling you, I went in a big group of friends and I'm typically the one that sits there quiet while everybody else is screaming about fan service and freaking out and slapping each other and stuff. I'm usually the one that's like, mm-hmm. And the discussions at the end of the screening usually go, everybody is chattering excitedly and when they look at me, it's like on bated breath because they know I'm gonna say something mean and I'm usually like, well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And then I drive home in silence thinking about how I'm gonna destroy the piece of content I just watched and I come on here and I to you guys. But to be honest, that is not what happened with Deadpool and Wolverine. You're not gonna get a film out of this, and I think that's probably why the Rotten Tomatoes ratings weren't super high from critics at the beginnings and are probably set to drop as more critics start to analyze it. It is so incredibly meta, full of fourth wall breaks that are absolutely phenomenal. And I also want to acknowledge that there are some things in the Wolverine arc of the story, particularly, that feel really sweet, on the sweeter side of bittersweet. Because at the end of the day, a lot of us have agreed that Hugh Jackman gave us some of his best years as Wolverine, and I was one of the first people I have a video about it saying that Wolverine coming back was going to be a huge cash grab. And while this movie very much feels like it's going to be a cash grab. But to be honest, it's a well done cash grab. It's entertaining, it's fun. It feels like everything fans have been asking for for years. The first thing I said as the credits started rolling was that I felt like I was in high school again. This was genuinely a film that just made me excited. It made me happy. It made me scream. It made me laugh. In some ways, it felt like what comic book movies should be and what they once were. I'm telling you, in recent weeks, I've almost started to wonder if I was just growing out of this shit because there's just no part of it that has excited me or attracted me to it in any way in a very long time. And I thought, maybe I'm just not that person anymore. Maybe I was when I was younger, but now at 24, it's just not my thing anymore. And while I was sitting there screaming like a bitch, and I come home and unload all this information onto my dad in this manic state, I realized, no, I didn't grow out of it. It's just that it all went to sh but Deadpool and Wolverine is a must watch. It's a must watch. If you've been on any sort of a journey with Marvel and you understand it, you understand the fan base, you understand the fandom, this is a must watch. And I would argue that this is a must watch in theaters. I have not been the strongest proponent of we need to keep theaters alive, we need to support the movie theater industry because you know what? I just don't believe in paying $8 for a icy and that's why I didn't have one when I went yesterday and it really would have matched my pretty red suit and I wanted an icy so fucking bad. And I have never defended the theater industry, but as I was sitting there and I was watching it, I knew from the minute it started that it would not be the same experience if I'd watched it at home in the comfort of my own home by myself. Watching it among not just friends but other theater goers where the theater erupts in cheers and applause and laughter and you are actively within this realm of people that are also consuming this fucking insane piece of content with you. My god. What an experience. I really hate to be that person that just comes on here and doesn't give you a rating and can't articulate a lot of things clearly. And I also hate not giving spoilers about things because I would love to really just delve deep into this right now. But I think you need to go and experience this one for yourself. And I'd love to maybe in a week analyze spoilers and make another video, but for right now, the purpose of this one is just to tell you that as somebody who has been so cynical about Disney and Marvel and Star Wars and everything I used to love, somebody who felt like it was all going to shit and I had to start ripping posters off the wall and selling off action figures and setting cosplays on fire, for as silly and nonsensical as this movie is, I think that it did a brilliant job of reminding me what it's like to have fun. And that's what Marvel used to be really good at. Not just telling good stories, but showing us a really good time. And Deadpool and Wolverine is a phenomenal return to having a good 
same time. That's all from me. I've been Snarky J. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. For more Snarky J, tune in on Twitch every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. EST. You can also check out my Instagram. And if you'd like to support me, this channel, and my content creation, do check out and consider subscribing to my Patreon for exclusive photo shoot sets and stuff like this. I will add links to all of those in the description below. And let me know your thoughts on Deadpool and Wolverine. No spoilers in the comments below.